This is a pretty exciting time for any model railroader. We're going to take the boiler, put it on the chassis, and hook it up from there. I had a couple railroad buddies of mine come over and help me plunk this boiler down on top of the chassis. The boiler weighs about 100 pounds dry. In two and a half scale, it's not that heavy of a boiler, but it's kind of awkward to move by itself. After loosening about one fourth an inch on the back half of the frame, the boiler fit in the cradle with ease. This is a boiler stabilizer. They allow the pressure vessel a little excess room while under heat. Here we tighten back up the frame. I loosen the frame roughly about a quarter inch to let the boiler sit in the cradle comfortably. This little L bracket here helps the left hand side of the cab's plate stay in place. And here we see the installation of the left hand side of the cab's footboard. The metal cab will eventually rest on top of this plate. At this stage, we'll assemble the boiler's water fill system. One can essentially hook up the spigot to the garden hose and fill up their boiler that way. Although it's not recommended in this area, we have a lot of limestone and our water's very rough. So this locomotive will more than likely boil distilled water as well as rain water for the time being. For those just getting into the live steam model railroading obsession, take note, don't tighten parts too tight. I notice with a lighter touch, I get a lot better results. This plumber's tape here will help ensure that the locomotive has a good watertight, airtight circuit. Here we'll offer up the water fill into the frame.
This valve here lets the engineer control how much water is fed into the boiler from the outside water source. Here we'll attach the water fill plumbing to the boiler. This valve here allows the engineer to empty the boiler after running. This is one of two water feed valves that will be attached to the side of the boiler. There's two ways to get water into the boiler on this locomotive for now. There's an axle pump and there's a hand pump in the tender. The option of installing an injector is not far and I may do that here in the near future. At this stage, we're going to install the sight glass as well as the blowdown valve. The blowdown valve allows the engineer to blow down water while under steam. This, in return, balances out the amount of water that's inside the boiler.
the amount of water that's inside a boiler can be seen through the sight glass. If the water's too low, an engineer can fill up the boiler by using the hand pump, axle pump, and or injector. If the water's too high, the engineer can negotiate the level by using the blowdown valve. I wanted to say thank you for tuning in to part three. And always, keep steaming.